China's car market, it's in trouble. It's in big trouble. There's a clearly an economic collapse going on in China. But over the past week, something very interesting has begun happening. Even though China's car market has gone down significantly, electric car sales have increased by 40% in China this year over the past 10 weeks. But over the past seven days, the car market in China has sent shivers through the spine of Ford, General Motors, Volkswagen, and Japanese automakers. And this is the reason. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Big thank you to our Patreon supporters, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and also our members. If you want to be a member, you do get access to some of our videos in advance. So what am I talking about? Well, EV sales have increased by 40% this year, even though the car market has shrunk. What does that mean? It means that EVs have now hit a new record in China. 43.5% of all car sales in March so far have been electric. Now, the reason this is terrible for a legacy auto, for Japanese automakers in particular, but also for Ford GM and um, you know Stellantis, etc., is that um, well, none of them have a top twenty best-selling electric car in China. So you've really got BYD, Tesla, Aon, uh, Nita. Lee Auto, Neo, Xpeng, you've got all these car companies, right, selling electric cars, and their sales are generally increasing. However, the sales of legacy automobiles from legacy manufacturers have been going down fast. And the reason is because they primarily sell internal combustion powered vehicles. And as we see EV percentage sales rise from what was it last year, 33%? to 35, to 40. Well, they're rising faster than what Legacy Auto thought they would. So hitting 40, nearly 44% so far in March means that EV adoption is, is really speeding up. But EV adoption is, is a bigger problem than what I'm really, what picture I'm painting for you guys. And the reason is this. Battery prices in China are falling very, very quickly. BYD, CATL, they own, I believe, about 60% of the global battery market between the two of them, or 55% around there. They're both saying battery prices are going to come down an additional 50% this year in China. And if that does happen, then how can Legacy Auto compete? They they can't compete because it it will mean EVs are cheaper to manufacture by the end of this year in China than internal combustion. And at that point in time, EV sales will continue to rise as EVs become cheaper and cheaper. Their prices are already continuing to come down almost every single week. It's crazy. And that will mean that the EV revolution worldwide will gather steam because most EVs come from China. They're made in China. They get parts from China, batteries from China. Prices continue to come down. And as Tony Seaver predicted, EVs would be cheaper to manufacture than gas in 2025. I think that'll happen. You've even got experts. Some experts mean big Bloomberg is even saying it's going to happen in 2026. I'm just saying one year earlier. I think it's very likely. And this is pretty scary for the world's automotive companies. Thanks for watching.